lab number 9.4. In this lab, we're starting the new lab series in which we will be developing a mobile application called Comrade. This mobile application uh, will be basically a contact book, like Comrade's book of uh, organization employees. And the task is that uh, basically the person who will be using this uh, sample application will be able to log in inside, uh, search for uh, any person he wants and find out their mobile phone, email, and basically also the work phone, um, job role, and so on. Nothing really special, pretty simple application. Um, this app will be uh, one of the new uh, POT uh, series for Mobile First Platform 7.1. And basically we are starting it in the lab se section uh, 9 because uh, we will be doing UI using uh, Ionic Creator. Ionic Creator is the drag and drop UI editor. UI creator using uh, Ionic framework, which is based on AngularJS, and this tool we will use to create a basic UI of our app in this particular uh, lab 9.4. And then in other labs uh, from this series, we will take this created asset and move to mobile first platform, continue development, doing the logic integration, and so on. So let's start with creation of the UI. For that, let's open the browser and navigate uh, to the website for Ionic Creator. I will just search for, uh, for it through Google. So if you're not a user of Ionic Creator yet, you need to sign up. Otherwise, you need to log in or first sign up and then the login. Sign up is pretty simple. I will skip it because I'm already a user of Ionic Creator. Uh, for you, please sign up and afterwards proceed to login page, enter your credentials and click sign in to create. After signing, you will uh, see this page uh, when it asks to enter the job title, phone number and so on. We will skip it um, and our application, as I said, will be called Comrade. Let's create the first project. Uh, so basically, we will start with a sample page uh, which already exists, and that page is the login page. Uh, so basically, Ionic Creator is the pretty simple tool. Uh, from this side, from from upper left side, it enables you to uh, control the pages. As you can see, we have the page that was created by default called page and we will immediately will be able to delete it uh, from the right side pane uh, panel, uh, which we will be uh, actually using for different settings and parameters and so on. And our main page will be a login page. Uh, it will be a starting page of the, our app. Uh, we don't need uh, this create an account functionality. We just need a simple login. We just need a simple username, password, uh, Probably let's add some kind of image, which will be the application logo. Afterwards, username, password, uh, login button uh, will be a bit different. We'll use uh, blue colors. Um, we'll do a bit of styling uh, at the final stage of our application. Uh, most of the styling will be done by uh, using different CSS classes. Um, so for now, let's just uh, change the style of uh, this specific button from stable to uh, positive. This will give us basic blue color. As you can see, uh, in the main section we are seeing uh, our application and we are able to kind of control the different items on this page by switching the focus to it. And then in the right panel we are seeing the settings for specific items. And from the left panel, we can still see the pages and we can also see the different components that we will be able to use for the next page. So uh, next, our page uh, will be actually the main page of the app. Let's add a blank page and let's call it something like 
comrades. This will be main page uh, from the URL. So basically on this page uh, we will need some kind of a list. So let's edit. Like this, just a list. Uh, we will have a simple picture of our employee. Uh, for that, we will use it's an item thumbnail. Uh, this will be our uh, list item, uh, and we will just have the title. Let's change the title to comrade name, then content to. Uh, Comrade job role, for example, and we don't need anything else in this list. So, when we will be doing the real development and not the UI construction, uh, we will replace this uh, particular uh, item with the array of uh, our employees, of our comrades. But right now, it's just enough to have this uh, one just simple comrade. And basically, we also need some kind of search. So let's add a search inside our list. Um, during the real development, we will probably move it uh, to the subheader in order for it to be fixed and not to be scrolled together with the page. But, uh, well, to be honest, Ionic Creator is not the most functional thing in the world. So it's not allowing you to add this search directly in subheader right now. So let's just leave it inside basically inside the list and then we'll decide what to do with it. Um, as you noticed uh, at the top right corner you have a switcher from edit to test and you can see how your app will be working in the real life. So as you can see we have a simple scrolling, we are able to search for something, it doesn't search anything of course because there is no logic yet. Uh, so let's go back to edits and uh, prepare one more page. So our page the next one, and basically the last one, uh, will be called Comrade Detail. Uh, the routing URL, let it be details. And basically on this page we will have again a list. Now we will need to uh, provide the details of our comrade. So let's start with the same thumbnail item. Uh, we'll have the comrade name, comrade job role. We'll also uh, have, of course, email. And basically, we won't just send the email. Of course, you will see the email in the app, but we will do some kind of interruption, uh, interaction within the user. Um, and basically, by clicking on those list items, we will give him an opportunity to send the email uh, using the, some kind of uh, third-party tool or a native mail client for his operation system. We will give him an opportunity to make a call to send an SMS. Uh, so let's just rename it to send email. Then we will have uh, call to the office. Then we will also have call to mobile and let's add one more item send send sms just like this so nothing really special uh, within this app simple navigation uh, really simple navigation because we just have three pages so first we will start with the login page after entering the username and password and clicking login button. Uh, let's make a link to the main page, comrades. So after clicking the login button, we will go to comrades page. And then basically from comrades page, after uh, 
searching for a specific comrade and clicking on this specific comrade we will go to details as you can see there is no chance to put the link here right away unfortunately but we will do it afterwards during development um, and then we will have the last page which provide us the details of this comrade his email, um, office phone number, mobile phone number um, and basically we will be able to make connections uh, to call him to, to the office or to mobile or cell phone and send the SMS. Um, basically that's it. We finished with the uh, development of UI of our mobile application and what will be done next uh, we will actually uh, do an export of our mobile application and this will be done in the following way. You just need to click on that button, um, small button for export and basically uh, then you can do the following. You can just type in the command line um, in a terminal ionic start name of your application and then uh, the code that will be displayed. So don't use mine of course, use yours. Uh, and you will be able to just download the app you, that you just created. So let's try to do that. I will open the terminal, copy this line, uh, in the terminal we will navigate firstly to dev folder. So uh, this dev folder located under our home folder. Uh, so the username is IBM, of course, uh, home folder of IBM user, then the dev folder. Uh, then basically we have a folder called uh, workspaces and inside workspaces we'll create this project. Let's name it Comrade.io, which will uh, actually show for us later that this is Ionic project and press enter. No, we don't want to create Ionic account and basically that's it. So now uh, we're able to see that there is a Comrade IO application. We can even get inside and type Ionic serve, which will actually run the live reload server and open the browser with our application. Uh, let's specify the local host. In my case, it's second option. and preview our app in browser. So as you can see we have our app here almost working. We have two pages, page one, page two. Um, and basically on this step uh, we just have navigation between the login and main page. We don't have the navigation to details page but we can manually navigate there uh, to see that yes we have this detail page. So basically that's it. Um, further development will be continued in uh, this lab series. So uh, let's exit from live reload server by entering the queue. Close terminal and also the browser. And basically on this step our lab 9.4 is finished. Thank you.